Welcome back 813 this morning. Hoop Fest leaders have announced that the event officially is going to move to August. And so this morning we are joined by Hoop Fest executive director and former Zags basketball star Matt Santangelo this morning to talk more about it. Matt, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. Tell us more kind of what went into uh, making this decision to push the event officially back to August. Well, you know, we're really fortunate in the fact that we were able to identify an alternative date at all. I mean, you're talking about a, a citywide event that, I mean, literally shuts down all of downtown. So to have an alternative date was fortunate. And then really it was just about the consideration of the health and safety, the current state of the virus, uh, you know, people's confidence to come back out and connect uh, and following the guidelines from, you know, health officials and, um, and the medical field. So at the end of the day, it was easy because we put health and safety first, uh, and then we had that alternative date to postpone to in August. Now, Matt, should we expect to see any changes to the actual event when it does move to August? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, certainly, you know, we're working through, you know, trying to identify a fair expectation for the size of the event, uh, you know, with the, obviously the change in dates. The physical layout of the event, um, you know, what downtown looks like in August versus June. And then ultimately, uh, you know, what types of guidelines will be in place from a social distancing standpoint in August versus what they are today? And then how can we modify the event? You know, can we put courts further apart from each other? Can we create uh, more open space in downtown um, on Hoopfest weekend? You know, all those things we are, are working through again, working with professionals to help advise us on that uh, and doing the best we can, because again, health and safety is priority number one. Yeah, as you talk about us kind of looking ahead, I know we shifted this back once. Is there a backup date to your backup date? Like if August doesn't work out, <laughs> is there a potential that HoopFest would be canceled overall or would you shift it back further? Uh, we have so many alternative plans. I think we've gone through the entire alphabet <laughs> and we're just symbols now. We're just using like plan, exclamation point, asterisk, pound sign. Uh, you know, and so I think for, uh, for us, it really is about having as many contingency plans happening so that we can be as flexible and nimble as, as we possibly can uh, as our priority is to create a safe Hoop Fest 2020, but to execute a Hoop Fest 2020. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're trying to be dynamic with, with uh, that next plan, the new plan B, if you will, um, but nothing in concrete at this moment. So, so you're saying that if it's not in August, we don't know if it will be canceled, right? Uh, no, not, not yet. No, and I, I, like I said, our commitment is to make it work if it's you and I in my backyard and on December 31st. You know, who that's 2020 is going to happen uh, one way uh, or another. That, that's our priority. Um, and, of course, again, the health and safety is, is priority number one. So I, I, I want to kind of emphasize that because we're not going to overlook, um, you know, the inherent risk in large group gatherings or ones that, uh, that social distancing can be a challenge. Matt, I know this is, you know, anything involving sports is such a huge question mark right now, but when this has a chance to come back to the Spokane area, how important is this going to be in sort of unifying the culture of the Inland Northwest together? Oh. Yeah, I love that. Thank you for that question. I, uh, uh, I think it's a big one because I think, you know, right now, you know, more than ever, we are dying, you know, kind of we're struggling because we want to feel that connection. You know, we want to be a part of, uh, feel that connection with our loved ones, feel that connection with our family, feel that connection with the community. Hoop Fest is a wonderful stage to do that. It has been for 30 years. It's not new. So I think when, when the opportunity comes back for Hoop Fest to be back on the stage, we're going to be hungry for that connection. We're going to be hungry for that physical activity, you know, and being outdoors and being uh, being active. I think that's a big one. And then the last one I think that we have to take into account is the economic impact of an event like Hoop Fest. I mean, it's an estimated $50 million economic impact to our yeah. local economy every year. So I think all those things are so needed that Hoop Fest really could be that, you know, it, it is the light at the end of the tunnel right. uh, for us to look forward to, to, to create that connection, to create that health and, and wellness and to create that economic impact. Matt, thank you for joining us this morning. I know a lot went into your decision, but we appreciate you taking some time this morning. We're gonna take a quick break here on Up With Krim.